All right, and hello everyone, it is me, Jay Burns, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you all how to make this bracelet right here. This bracelet is my own original design, and it is called the Blossom Patch Bracelet. So to make this bracelet, you will need a loom, such as a rainbow loom, or any loom that has at least three rows of pins, so something like a moon loom or sunshine loom would also work. Then you will also need a hook, and I'll be using a metal tipped hook, but any hook should work for this design. And then a clip, and I'll be using a C clip. So now for rubber bands, there are three groups, and for the A color bands, they are going to be the border bands, and as you can see here, they are the turquoise single chains on the sides of the design. Then the B rubber bands are going to be the center bands. And they are the darker blue bands in this bracelet. So they're in the center of the blossoms. Then the C color rubber bands are going to be the petal bands. And they are the green rubber bands here on the design that make it look like blossoms or little flowers. So in the description, I'll have the number of each type of band you'll need to make it on a loom or a rainbow loom, just a rainbow loom. And you may need to adjust the number of bands if you have a different length loom, but it'll mostly be, well, it'll just be the number of bands, whatever. Okay, anyway, just use the pause button if you need more time to get your supplies. We're going to go ahead and get started. So, to begin, you're going to want the arrow on your loom pointing away from you. And if you do not have an arrow on your loom, that means the closed side of the pins. So the open side is where you put your hook when you're looming that side would be facing away. But the close side will be facing towards you. So we're going to start by placing our border bands, or our A color bands, and we're going to go out from this first middle pin here with one band. We're going to go out to that first left pin. Then from that first left pin, we're going to place an A color band and go up on the left side there. And now we're just going to place a single chain going all the way up to that second to the last left pin there. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. Use the pause button if you need more time when I finish. Alright, and hello everyone. It is me, Jay Burns. And in this video, so as you can see here, I stopped at that second to the last left pin. We're just going to take one more A color band and go into the last center pin. Now we're going to return to the beginning of our loom and push down our bands as well. That's important. We'll return to the beginning of our loom and we're going to do the exact same thing with more border bands but now on the right side of our bracelet or our loom sorry so I'm gonna go ahead and do that so just like on the left side you start on that first middle pin and go out to the first right pin then you start a single chain going up the right side and we're just going to do the exact same thing we did on the left, but now on the right. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this, use the pause button if you need more time. Alright, so I'm pushing down the bands now. And what you should have on your loom should look something like this here. And if you have that, now we're going to start placing or adding the bands that we need for our blossoms. So we're going to start by placing the petal bands first. And we're going to take two blossom bands, or petal bands, sorry. And we're going to place them going from that first left pin. Oh, well, we're going to be using these three pins here, or these six pins, sorry. So we're gonna, first, now we're going to take these two pet blossom bands, petal bands, oh my, and stretch them and twist them going across the second, left, and right pins like that. Then we're going to get two more, and we're going to place them going from that first right pin all the way up to that third left pin. And we're going to also twist those. Then we're going to take two more petal bands, and we're going to place them going from the first left pin this time all the way up to the third right pins. And 
and you should end up with something that looks like that there. Now, we're going to do this on the next six pens. So, three on the left and three on the right. To start, we take two petal bands. There we go. <laughs> then, we stretch them going across the middle left and right pins. Then, we take two more, stretch them going from the bottom right to the top left. And then two more going from that bottom left to the top right. And you don't really have to do them in the same order, but it's best to do that because they'll all look the same at the end if you do them in the same order. So now you can do that on the next six pins and then the next six pins after that. So two more times if you have a rainbow loom. If your loom's slightly longer or shorter, you might not be able to fit as many flowers or you might be able to add a few more. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward me adding the next two flowers and then I'll tell you what to do after you've added yours as well. All right, so now you should have something that looks like this here on your loom. And if you weren't able to fit an exact number of flowers, then it's better to have a little bit of extra space at the end of your loom than to have a flower not above any of your border bands. So if for some, ex for some reason the last flower you would add would end up on the last left and right pins, which don't have any um, border bands on them, then you just won't add that. But anyway, now we're going to go ahead and start adding our center bands, or B color bands. And placing these is also, is well, it's actually really easy. This whole bracelet's pretty easy, but... <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to start with a center band, and we're only going to place them above where blossom bands are. So that first one's going to go across the bottom left and right pins, then the next is going to go across the left side, and so is this next one. So there's two going across the left side. Then there's going to be another one going across the top left and right pins. Then two more will be going down the right side. So one there and then one right there. And we've created a little rectangle of bands above all of the blossom bands for that blossom and we're going to do this for the remaining blossoms on our loom so go ahead and do that there's no specific order that you have to go in you can do it with how i showed you or you can just place them in any order but yeah i'm going to go ahead and place my center bands Alright, so now you should have something that looks kind of like this here on your loom. And once you have something like that, you can get your hook and a border band. I can grab one here. There we go. <laughs> oh, and there's a hair on it. That's a Zoe hair. It's my cat. <laughs> but anyway. You're going to get those two things and now it's time to loom. So we're going to turn our loom around so the arrow's pointing towards us. Or if you don't have an arrow, that would be the open ends of the pins, the side where you put your hook in. That would be facing towards you. Alright, so we're first, before we add the, the, the border band, a brain fart there, we're going to deal with all these blossoms first. So. What we're going to do is we're going to go to our first blossom that we have here. Oh, well, I'm going to show you one and then you're going to do the rest on your own. It's really, it's a really easy process here. So we go to our first blossom, we grab the two petal bands at the bottom and then pull them up and over the pin. 
and that was really quick, but that's all you do. You do that for all of your pedal bands, and only the pedal bands. Don't loop up any uh, border bands or any center bands. You do that for all six pins for each blossom. And so you just do this same process. Oh, and I'm showing another angle there. Well, then I, you just do this same process for all of your blossoms on your loom. And then once you finish that, I'll show you how to loom the rest of the bracelet. Alrighty, so now you should have something that looks like this here on your loom. That was a little fast, but you should have all your blossoms loomed now. And now what we're going to do is we're still going to need our hook, and now we're going to use that other A color band or border band, and we're going to make it into a cap band now. So to do that, we're going to take the rubber band, twist it into an 8 or an infinity shape, like so. Then we're going to fold it like a book back on top of itself, and now we have a cap band, and we're going to place this cap band on that first middle pin. Just like that. Now we're going to get our hook, and the rest of this is very, very easy. It's just like making a single chain, except there's just a few extra bands, and there's two single chains. So first we're going to pull back the cap band, grab the top band underneath of it, and we're going to loom it to wherever it's coming from, and it's coming from the left, it should at least. <clears throat> and now we're on the left side, we're going to pull back all the top bands, grab the bottom band, and it should be a border band. <coughs> Goodness. Or did I say the top? I meant the bottom. Well anyway, now you're just going to do that process going all the way up to the end of the left side of your loom, pulling back the top band and grabbing the very bottom band, looming it forwards. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this part here and just use the pause button if you need more time. Alright, so now we just have this band here that I'm plucking at to loom from the left side. So we're going to take our hook, go in, pull back top bands, grab that bottom band, and the only difference is, is it goes into that middle pin there. Now we're going to return to the beginning of our loom, and we're going to loom the right side now. And the right side is the exact same as the left, only this time we're going to pull back the cap band, and there should only be a bottom band now at the bottom. And I kind of messed up my cap band there, I'm just going to put that back on. But anyway, now we're just going to loom the right side, I'm going to fast forward this part as well, and just use the pause button if you need more time. Alrighty, so as you can see here, I already looped that band that goes into the center, and you should have something that looks like this here on your loom. And once you have this, now it's time to start taking this thing off of your loom. So you're going to need your hook, and what we're going to do is we're going to start here where our cap band is, and we're going to start pulling bands off of the loom, one pin at a time, working our way up to the other end of our loom. Now, before you do get to the other end, you need to make sure you do not take those bands off of that last middle pin. You're going to need those for you're going to need those for when you start your extension. So, I'm going to go ahead and start removing these here and I'm not going to fast forward this. This should be pretty quick. So, yep. So, once you get to the end, make sure you do not take those um, bands off that last middle pin. Alright. So now once you're there, I just turn my bracelet around so it's not over the loom and um, once you have uh, this, now what we're going to do here is we're still going to need our hook 
and we're also going to need more border bands or a color bands for our extension but for right now we're only going to need one of these so there's my hook we need well I mean you can use your own hook but I need my hook but <laughs> we're gonna take our hook first and we're gonna stick it going all the way down through that pin so that it catches all the bands on that pin then we're gonna take one of these border bands put it on our hook and pull our hook going up through this metal pin here make sure you hold on to the other end of that band and that other end you're now gonna put on your hook and once it's on you can pull those bands off that last middle pin there you go now you're ready to start making your extension so go ahead and get those other border bands or now extension bands we'll call them and what you do with one of these is you put it on your hook like so slide the band that was already on your hook onto the new band and then put the other end onto your hook as well so that was a little fast so let me try to go a little slower so extension band on your hook like so other bands get slid on onto it and then you put the other end of the new band on your hook like so and you just repeat that over and over until you make your extension long enough for your bracelet to fit around your wrist so I don't think I add too many more here so I'm not gonna fast forward this part either alright so I'm done here so once you finish your extension it's time to finish your bracelet so now we're going to get our clip that we're gonna be using or you're gonna get your clip and we're going to attach this clip to the bands that are on the hook. There we go. Once the clip is on, you can take the bands off of your hook. And now we're going to attach the clip to the cap band on the other end of our bracelet. Just like that and once it's on there now you have your bracelet and well for me now it's time for the outro all right and well now that's it for the video so I would like to thank you for watching my tutorial hopefully it showed you how to make my blossom patch bracelet successfully and you know, I think it's a cute bracelet and all but another thing I want to mention is a similar bracelet called the clover patch bracelet I have a tutorial for which I'll have linked in the description if you're interested it's similar to the blossom patch but it only has four little petals or leaves and yeah so if you're interested in that that'll be linked in the description and that's pretty much all I have to say for this video other than thanks for watching and bye